dear students today we will study and analyze maximum power transfer theorem let's first start with the definition of maximum power transfer and how it works the amount of power received by a load is an important parameter in electrical and electronic applications in dc circuits we can represent the load with the resistor having a resistance of our l ohms similarly in ac circuits we represents it with complex loads having impedance of z l ohms the maximum power transfer theorem states that the dc voltage source will deliver maximum power to the variable load resistor only when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance the maximum power transfer theorem also states that the ac voltage source will deliver maximum power to the variable complex load only when the load impedance is equal to the complex conjugate of the source impedance now this is definition of maximum power transfer theorem in dc domain in direct circuit direct current circuits domain while this is in ac circuits or we will deal with dc circuits only so we have to memorize maximum power transfer theorem states that the dc voltage source will deliver maximum power to the variable load only when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance Let's now prove the maximum power transfer theorem. Now, we can replace any two terminal linear network or circuit to the left side of the variable load resistor having resistance of our L ohm with a terminal equivalent circuit. For understanding the maximum power transfer theorem, it is recommended to revise terminal equivalent circuit. because we are going to make use of thevenin equivalent circuit right here we are knowing that the thevenin equivalent circuit is resembling a practical voltage source you remember that the thevenin equivalent voltage was your voltage source in practical the concept is illustrated in the following figure here you can see any two terminal linear circuit which is connected to a load with terminals a b it can be represented as a thevenin and a thevenin connected to the load we discussed that any two terminal linear circuit can be represented in its thevenin equivalent or not an equivalent form here we are considering the thevenin equivalent form in this circuit the amount of power dissipated across the resistor load is equal to p is equal to i square r here we have only i can flow through this so i square multiplied by r l through this load substituting the value of i as i is equal to v tangent divided by r tangent plus r l we had the value of i as v tangent is equal to r tangent plus r l so we will substitute its value now after putting the value of i in power equation we get pl is equal to v tangent square multiplied by r l divided by r tangent plus r l square we can substitute r l is equal to r tangent and pl is equal to pl max in this equation 1 so we will get pl max is equal to v tangent square multiplied by r tangent divided by r tangent plus r tangent Whole square. We have put the value of R L equal to R thevenin. So, so what we get is P L max is equal to V thevenin square multiplied by R thevenin divided by four R T H square. How this four R T H came? Here we have. So taking its whole square, we get four R T H whole square. 
Now the value of PL max will be V tan square divided by 4 RTH. Now the PL max will become V tan whole square divided by 4 RL. Because we put RL is equal to R tan here, so we put back our RL in place of R tan. Therefore, the maximum amount of power transferred to the load is PL max is equal to V tan square divided by 4 RL or V tan whole square divided by 4 R tan. Let's now take an example to understand the maximum power transfer theorem. Consider the given circuit. Here we have 20 volt voltage source, 3 resistor connected and a current source connected to a load resistance. Maximum power delivered to the load resistor or L of the circuit should be found in the following step. First step is having the tenon equivalent of this circuit. So we have to calculate tenon voltage of the circuit as well as tenon resistance of the circuit. If you remember the example that we took in tenon equivalent circuit, we had a voltage of 66.66 and resistance of 13.33 ohm. As I already mentioned, the terminal voltage we got in that example was V tan is equal to 200 divided by 3 or 66.66 volt, and the terminal resistance was RTH is equal to 40 divided by 3 or 13.33 ohm. If you don't remember the example, let's now revise it so you have it in your memory. So here we are in the example, we have 20 volt source, 4 ampere current and resistor connected. So what we are going to do is, we are first going to calculate the tenon's voltage. For that, we have only one principal load, but first we disconnect the 20 ohm resistor. So we have only one principal load V1, so we will use nodal analysis. As I already mentioned, we are going to use nodal analysis method and we get its equation as V1 minus 20 divided by 5 plus V1 divided by 10 minus 4 is equal to 0. We get 10 as its LCM, so we get 2 minus 2 V1 minus 40 plus V1 minus 40 is equal to 0. So we get 3 V1 minus 80, V1 is equal to 80 divided by 3, so we have V1 is equal to 26.66 volts. We get the nodal node voltage, so now we can have voltage at any point in the circuit, but first we are going to find voltage across this 10 res ohm resistor. So for that we have formula V 10 ohm is equal to minus 4 the current source multiplied by 10 the resistance value. So we have minus 40 at that 10 ohm resistor. Now at this mesh we are going to this mesh without the current source we are going to apply KVL. So applying KVL we have V1 minus 10 ohm minus V10 is equal to 0. V1 is 26.66 volt and V10 volts is minus 40. So 26.66 minus minus 40 is equal to V10. So we get the value of V10 equal to 66.66 volts. Now the next step was finding R Thamnin. So we short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source and get the resistors only. Now we have our terminal equal to 5 and 10 ohm resistor are parallel which are in series with 10 ohm. So we get 13.33 ohm as our equivalent. So the equivalent circuit diagram will be 66.66 volt of V terminal, 13.33 ohm of R terminal and the load. Now let's proceed to our main topic that is maximum power transfer theorem 
and see how we are going to calculate and measure the maximum power transfer to the 20 ohm resistor or load. Now the step 2 is replacing the part of the circuit which is the left side of the terminal AB into the thevenin equivalent circuit. As we are already done with the thevenin equivalent circuit in example and I have also revised the entire example. So we will put the thevenin equivalent circuit to the left side of the terminals A and B. The resultant circuit diagram will be as follows. We have 66.66 voltage source which is thevenin voltage. 13.33 ohm of thevenin resistance and RL or the load. Now the step 3 is finding the maximum power that is delivered to the load resistance and it is found through formula of maximum power transfer theorem with which is PL max is equal to with thevenin square divided by 4 RTH. Here we have with thevenin is equal to 66.66 volt and R thevenin is equal to 13.33 ohm. After putting it into the formula, we get 66.66 volts whole square divided by 4 multiplied by 13.33 ohm. The maximum power delivered to the circuit is equal to 63.33 volt. Let's now simulate the circuit in the FASTED simulator. You are already aware of the simulation of this circuit because you have verified the same circuit in Thevenin's theorem as well. Here we are at the FASTED simulator. First, we will check on blank circuit to clear it. Now we will start drawing our circuit. We had first resistor of 5 ohms, second resistor of 10 ohms, third resistor of 10 ohm, and we had RL equal to 20 ohms. Now we are going to connect the resistors Here we are going to connect our current source We had a current source of 4 ampere Now we will connect the remained circuit Remember to connect the circuit point to point, else the results will be impacted. Now here we are going to add our two terminal voltage source. And its value was 20 volts. Select OK. Here the colors are different because I have checked on alt color for voltage power so I will check on conventional now we have conventional currents now what we are going to do is check for the terminal equivalent circuit and then measure maximum power transfer to the load so what we are going to do is we are going to move aside the load resistance first. Now what we will do, we will calculate thevenin equivalent voltage and where would that be? That voltage will appear right here. So we are going to add a voltmeter at the end checking the voltage here you can see we are having 66.66 volts of thevenin voltage how we calculated that you remember first we calculated 
voltage V1, right? At this point, we calculated the voltage. After that, what we did is we calculated voltage through 10 ohm resistance, which was equal to minus 40. Let's check whether it's minus 40 or not. You can see the voltage is minus 40. And here at this point, through this resistor, the voltage was 26.66 volt. Let's verify whether that voltage was equal to 26.66 or not. Now I am going to connect it. Here you can see 26.66 volt. So we have V7 equal to 66.667 volt. It's already verified. Now we are going to measure our thumb. For that, we are going to delete all our scopes that we did for voltages. Now we are going to open circuit our current source and short circuit our voltage source. This is how we short it and we have opened the current source already. Now we will put our ohmmeter here for checking the R thermal. You can see the R theorem is equal to 13 ohms, R 13.33 ohm to be precise as the value is given below, right here. Now what we will do is, we will replace the entire circuit with V theorem, R theorem and load and then check maximum power transfer to the load. Let's clear the circuit. What we will do is, we will put two resistors, this one will be R thermal, which will be equal to 13.33 ohms and next will be 20 ohms RL. Now we are going to connect both these with the voltage source thermal voltage source so we had our thermal voltage source equal to 66.06 volts click ok now we will check the maximum power transfer to 20 ohm resistor. When we place cursor on here, you can see the power transfer is almost 80 watts, which is almost equal to 83.33 watt. So the simulation is verifying the calculations. You can also verify it through finding current passing through this 20 ohm resistor. So for that you are going to put an emitter here. So two ampere is passing through this resistor, and here you are having a voltage of 66.66 volt. So 66.66 volt square divided by four multiplied by two. That is a so you will get power equal to 83.33 watt. So the simulations are verifying our calculations so as maximum power transfer theorem. Let's now move to your home task. You have to verify maximum power transfer theorem for the given circuit. You have to do necessary calculations and simulate the circuit as well. 
this is the circuit which you have to simulate if you have any question feel free to ask best of luck i hope you have learned a lot in this pw lab thank you so much best of luck for your future